So to start, uh, can you explain what dry eye is to some of our viewers who may not know? There's a lot of different definitions and variations out there, Nick, of what dry eye involves. Is it autoimmune related? Is it evaporative? But basically, it comes down to two schools of thought, one of which is called aqueous deficient dry eye. Um, I see this quite a bit when it comes to patients that have certain autoimmune conditions like lupus, Sjogren's, um, anything like that that kind of is a recurrent inflammatory condition of the body that kind of goes after the lacrimal glands that decreases the amount of watery tear film that goes to the front of the eyes, which causes someone to be aqueous deficient. And the other kind, which is probably a lot more common, um, and apparently 86% of patients with dry eye have this condition called evaporative dry eye. And specifically what I've been studying a lot over the past several years have included the meibomian glands, these little tiny oil glands that we all have in our eyelids that when you blink, it should be the way I like to describe it to patients is it's like squeezing warm popcorn butter oil over the front surface of the eyes, the cornea, the tear films, give you clear vision because it's actually part of your glasses and contact lens prescription. But sometimes if we do too much reading, uh, computer work, books, phone, crochet, crossword, driving, I mean, really anything for that matter where you're not blinking enough, those glands get plugged up and it becomes like a stick of hardened butter in the refrigerator. And that's kind of what comes from not having enough oil on your tear film because you've got oil, water, and mucus, and all those layers kind of need to be in harmonious synchronization with one another. And if you have a deficiency in the outer layer, the oil layer, it's going to just allow water to run down your cheeks or evaporate too quickly in front of you and can lead to a lot of issues. But mostly it's just the evaporative, like oil deficient and aqueous deficient, which is like water deficient dry eye uh, from what I typically see.